That's a nice fish, that is. I think that's the biggest one. Actually. Yeah. Oh, no way. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Do not move that feeder. There he is. There's the mouth. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go Wind's up a bit. I think it's eased off. I think casting should be really easy today. Oh, yeah, <laughs> thanks, boys. Yeah, you had it flat, calm, like a mill pond. And yeah, I've got that's not how I remember it. Hurricane Hilda. I want to see that feeder in front of the camera first time. <laughs> I know this venue is a lot of running line fishing for carp, so what methods are we thinking, boys? The method feed has been around for so long. You know, we've all got our own theories on that and how it works and how it breaks down, but, you know, let's see it for real. Let's really see what's happening down there. I'm pretty sure I know um, after all the testing and development we did, but, you know, putting it in a fishing scenario would be really interesting. That'd be cool, like a method, hybrid, bit of a duo, see how they work against each other all together. I think that'd be ace. Before we arrived at the lake, our project manager Daniel had set the cameras in a position that was optimum for clarity. They were about 30 metres from the bank and just at the bottom of a shelf in around 12 feet of water off the edge of some lovely looking reeds. First cast, fishing, joining the reeds and the things. In testing we'd found this was the perfect spot and it caught us the most fish. And this theory, when put into practice, rang true as Steve had a great couple of days fishing his beloved hybrid feeder. Perfect or cold. Yeah, well done, mate. Previously on Gurus Underwater, Steve changed the colour of his boilie crush from yellow to orange. Oh, he's, on. he's in! He's on! He's on! He's oh. on! He's on! He's still eating! You've got him! You've got him! <laughs> <laughs> and instantly caught two fish in two casts. We also tried a two-inch hook length. I think the line could be a bit stiff. Perilous. Dyson's Coming in. back. Get ready, get ready. Go on then, Bobby! Yeah, You've got on. him. But it didn't seem to be long enough for effective hook-ups. No. You just... Wow! That's big, isn't it? Oh. oh! So then we upped the feeder weight to 45 gram bigger feeder more weed but again it didn't quite seem right in these conditions adding goo into the mix the fish come in the swim so much quicker compete 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 oh and spooked each other off didn't they them two got him guess who it is silver surfer Excuse me, just put that back. I'm just using my initiative, thinking oh. forward. Forward thinking, unlike Ringer. Doesn't seem very fair to me. I won't be running up and down here today. I've got my own monitor. Ah, I've got my own telly. Oh, great, this. Got to apologise, folks, if you do hear a bit of blustering and rattling, because we're in this bivet, the wind is um, battering us, really, and it's going to make life tricky for him down there, isn't it? Yeah, to be fair, I've given him a bit of stick with his casting, <laughs> but he's got a tiny little area to get to cast that feeder into at 30-odd metres. This wind is not going to help no, him. No, it's not. What do you think is going to happen? We haven't seen as many fish while we've been setting up this morning. What do you think is going to happen when he shuts in? We haven't seen as many fish, but I think this is going to go one or two ways. Well, he's going to drop that feeder on the spot and there's going to be a really quick response because there's fish out there looking for food, milling mm. around. Mm. Or me and you will be asleep in about an hour's time, <laughs> waiting for something to happen. Be like but this on your shoulder. My, my gut instinct is conditions are good for fishing, tough for casting. But once he gets that bait on the spot, I think we'll see some action. Yeah. Yeah. Bit... Oh, there it is. Right, you're not. Oh, ruined. Basically, your bait's come off, yeah. as in your pellets, but your hook bait's still in it. Yeah. If you've got a ball of pellets on the bottom with I your hook bait. I hit the clip so hard because of the wind, I reckon it's come off. I'll reel it in. 
I need to mark it up anyway. But the only thing you'd say is, all right, it's happened, but he, he still would have got a bite. Yeah, what? It's almost fishing pellet cone on a method. Oh, f <laughs> that just that counts, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> Stale, mate. <laughs> when you go first. It's, it's the same every time. <laughs> Come on. Getting that feeder on the spot in front of the camera in the optimum position. Piece of cake. Let's play fishing hangman. Are you ready? Two words. Yeah. Two words. Your clue is um, match fishing. Hey. Good start, Steve. Good start. E. Waiting? Waiting for what? Rooney to get it on the spot? That were a long wait, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's a chance. That, I think that's worked down here. Yeah. There it is. There it is. We've got that. Yeah, we've got that. Just starting to break down. Yeah, as you can see, the pink wafter just coming up. The cherry on the cake, see it? Present. Presentation. Oh, it's, just, it's, wicked. Just, it's just falling off there. You can see a bit more on this screen, boys. Really difficult today with that wind. It's like howling in. You've got to hit your clip so hard. I'm worried you're pulling the bait off, but that one seems to have gone down okay, doesn't it? But Looks really good. Lovely presentation, mate, that. I'm not fishing how I would normally, do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm, I'm kicking it in hard to try and get it where it needs to get to. I'm just concerned that that bait isn't going to always be... It's be broke down. Feed. Presentation's broke down. Wafter's yeah. on the top. Honestly, I put the bait on so hard. But it still broke down, I reckon, within 25, 30 seconds. Yeah. Bad, isn't it? And it's like, different. It, it's a different pile of bait to a hybrid, yeah. isn't it? It should be more spread, I think. It is. Yeah, it's flat, Definitely. flatter to the bottom, more spread, and your hook bait should be more prominent. See how my hook bait moves around a lot? Light, yeah, it's out the ball a lighter bit Lighter hook as it? well, lighter hook. What you got on there, 12? Stick. Yeah, I've got a 12 on, but I've got a fixed bayonet, so I think the bait moves the hook around a little bit. I feel like mine's a lot lighter, but whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. We'll soon find out. I think both will work, to be fair. Yeah, I think so, but we'll see. When the method feeder hit the bottom, I was so pleased. The presentation, how the bait broke down around the feeder and how the hook bait sat perfectly. The feeder was literally invisible and there was a lovely spread of bait. It was exactly as I envisaged. Yeah, that's, I'm happy with the presentation. Goodbye. Oh, it's your fish. Is yeah. that one? Yeah, it is, yeah. Is that one? Yeah. Get ready, Rune. <laughs> he's coming. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming. Shh. That's supposed to tell him. He's moving. Here he comes. He's gonna get it. He's gonna take it. Oh! oh. <laughs> he picked it up and like dropped it. What, pick the hook bait up? Yeah, just a little bit. Like, he's coming again to it. He's got it. He's got, got, it. It. He's got it, he's got it. He's got it a second time. Yeah. Wow, he went for the hook bait. He picked it half up, dropped it, and then when it was away, come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. You happy with that? Worked all right, didn't it? He had it, he had it <laughs> half in and then dropped it and come back. Yeah, nailed it. That's mm. what the one did yesterday, yeah. didn't it? I'd be interested to see where he's hooked. He looked to me like he were hooked a little bit in the top, but I'm not sure. Got a good eyesight, you. <laughs> I'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Amazing how it was so determined to get the hook bait. Yeah. Like literally, not it didn't even really take many pellets. Tell you what, the method does show you one thing. Catches your bigger fish. <laughs> He's a nice one, isn't he? Yeah, it? he is, yeah. Matt, come on, get your feet wet. That's a nice fish that is. Yeah. But I think that's the biggest one at trip. Yeah. That's a oh, 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 lovely netting, Matt. Jesus, Matthew. He's scissors, Nailed isn't he? The scissors. scissors, yeah. Biggest one yet? Yeah, probably. What would you say that? I reckon so, yeah. 12 pound? 40? Yeah, good 12 pound. Yeah, yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, it's like top end at scissors though, look at it. Worked. <laughs> it did, it did, to be fair. He got so excited, didn't he? Yeah. It's the first time I've really got to sort of watch 
a fish feed on the feeder and it had like two goes at it, which amazed me. It didn't spook off the hook bait. Mm. It was actually like, I want that hook bait. Came back, nailed. Yeah. Presentation on that method looked amazing. Yeah, a little bit different from the hybrid yesterday, yeah. wasn't it? But harder to get in the swim today though, with that wind and the conditions. And obviously the, the method is quite open. So I'm having to hit the clip really hard and I'm worried I'm going to pull the bait off sometimes. But we'll go with the flow. I'm going to have another go doing exactly the same just to tick a few more boxes as such and then we can start playing. Gorgeous the fish, look at these yeah. little barbels there. It's a wicked fish, we need a name for him. Your, your first fish, so. Well, he's on the method, so let's call him Fod. I always imagined that your method or hybrid breaks down and they come in and suck the lot up, your hook baits in amongst it. They really want the micras, but there just happens to be a wafter in there and that's how you hook them. But looking at that footage, it, it wasn't the case at all. It broke down and the hook bait were separate and the number of times they beeline for that fleck of colour, that wafter, that hook bait, it, it were crazy. You've seen it now as well. Even the little carp, when they came in, they could easily pick up a free micro pellet, but they didn't. They, they wanted that colour, that hook bait separate. Strange, but really interesting. That's per oh. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> do not move that feeder. No, move it. You nudged it a bit. You then. It what then, did yeah. you do? Huh? You just moved it's it slightly. Cool. Mate, it's, it's amazing. Has it moved? Yeah, but it just vibra just like wobbled. Oh yeah, that's like taking the clip off. It's really tight on my clip. Yeah. It's a really tight. It's literally nothing started breaking down yet. One, a few micros just coming down now. Let's see them. Yeah, it is. That's nice. I think, that, I like I think that. that's good. Drag a fish down. I really like that. If he gets a take there, it's going to be epic. Yes. That's literally like optimum position. Yeah, it is. What a cast, what a breakdown. It's exactly where you said it needed mm. to be. To mm. be it's like just in front of the clay hole. Anyone would think you'd been on box yesterday. What did, right, as a person who loves a hybrid, when you're watching these first two feeders, are you thinking, I might need a method in my armoury yet, or? No, because it's personal, you know, both feeders, work brilliantly mm. it's just it's a confidence thing and I'm ultra confident in a hybrid you know what I mean I fished with a method for god knows how many years mm. caught loads of fish hybrid came out and Adam will tell you it took me a while to get used to a hybrid but now I'm like a creature of habit yeah yeah and I'm a hybrid for me is just unbeatable but I know Adam feels the same about a method yeah and and you, is, you look at that exactly what what's wrong with that I, mean, I wouldn't say personally the presentation just a bit more clumped I wouldn't say it's a massive more bait spread. No. There's just perhaps less feeder on view. Sometimes you can see the bowl. They, do you think they look more bait there? Yes. They just look more bait, yeah. don't they? I, I didn't know if it were me or not. But... I, I've always said if you needed to get more bait in, then a method probably, you can get more bait on a method because Adam might be single skinning, double skinning, triple skinning. What's that? What is that? It's not very big. He doesn't want to be catching it. Baby carp. Baby carp. Do, 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 baby carp. He's feeding though. Yes. He's cute, isn't he? He's, here he comes. Oh, he's, oh. No. Oh, he's just knocked his wafter off. <laughs> he's eating the pellets though. He's looking. Oh, 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 he's trying to get it. It's too big for him. That's well cool. He can't get it. He's given up. Go on, mate. No, he could have given up. Hopefully, his mum will come in now. How cool are that? Yeah. Spread the bait out of it, didn't it? Yeah. Even for a tiny fish. I think that is the difference between method and hybrid, though. Like, it is starting to spread more now. Mm. Uh, and I do think you're right in what you say. I've actually measured it before, and like, if you like sort of double or triple skin a method, even our small one, there's more bait there than like a large hybrid. Got you. Because you can almost keep just adding layer after layer. So, like, aggressive fishing, yeah. building a peg, casting regular yeah. to, to get bait in your peg, a method might be better. But even in 12 foot, it's got the bait down and an odd pellet an odd pellet did get knocked off but I don't think that's a bad providing like 95% hits the deck the odd pellet dropping off in 12 foot fish follow it I, I really like yeah. it yeah really like it interesting it's it's blowing today and there's definitely there would be a toe on that water 
but nothing's Nothing happening like down there, no. is it? There's no like, it's not blowing any pellets away or hook length away. It'd be interesting to see if he's getting any actual pickup of his line. So what you know normally if it's a bit of a toe. Ads, are you getting any like a bend in your tip due to toe or anything? No, it's sitting pretty steady at the minute. Maybe it's not. Had a big toe. liner yeah. from that little pounder a minute ago. Could just be I think wind direction and if it's deep, I think if it was five foot deep it'd be ripping now. Mm. So you look, when you look at it here and then look at it on the right hand screen, it looks like the presentation looks a bit different. There's a bit of a gap in the middle. Mm. But you not being funny, you, you would not be disappointed if you that was your presentation of a single cast. Would you act? You couldn't you probably couldn't get that presentation on a pole no. even if you were the most accurate person mm. in the world. Funny how that little one though came in and displaced and it's had like nibbled his up base. <laughs> For it, it five had, seconds. It had a million free micro pellets that it could have eaten. Yeah, and it, and went, it still went yeah. for the up bait. You know something else? I know it. Here he comes. He's here. Considering how much movement of water there is, the pellets don't blow away. That, do that's they? really surprised me. Has his tail just gone off the screen? That's really surprised me because I envisage like that waft of the tail there would have sent them off the screen, mm, mm. but it hasn't. I don't know if that's a depth thing. Oh, Litland's trying to eat the wafter. Oh, get away. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh. Here we go. Here, here comes Mum. Just turned away again. It's weird how they approach, whether you saw this yesterday more, they get to like, oh, another one. They get, to, get closer and closer. Yeah, and like closer. eight inches, 10 inches back, and they turn. Mm. Whereas you think they'd see that big pile and come, it's just like they're gaining confidence. Yeah. Steve sits on the box, only big carp swimming around in his swim. I sit on the box, plagued with little tiny carp. Typical. Isn't it amazing how they're... No, no <laughs> Leave my bag alone, mate. I love it if he hooks that. Jeez, this is not... Isn't it amazing how they go for that up bait and they're not interested in all them free micros? Oops, I think something big's come in, see a move. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't get, why they're attacking the... I think it's just inquisitiveness. But why are they not eating the micros? They're probably not even hungry. I just think they're just fun and games for them sometimes, there's, don't I say? There's definitely fish in this swim now because it's proper colouring up again. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's a bit bigger. I thought he got it. Oh, oh. He, he, he mugged you, mugged me <laughs> off. <laughs> got a hook on there. Too big for them stupid things. <laughs> I thought you said method was for big fish. It is, you wait and see. <laughs> no, oh. no, no, Eat go it. away! Eat it! <laughs> Why do they beeline for that? He turned um, into a bit of a little kid in the tent, Steve. Like, he really wanted room to catch one of them little tiddly carp. Kept going on about it. I hope he gets a little carp. Oh, oh. something's coming. Yeah, he's there in Can the right see the shadow pump. at the back? Yeah. Come on, let's get back in. <laughs> Can you see the method, really? Here we come. Not really. Can you? That's the biggest thing so far for me is... Oh, he's back. Oh, he's, got... oh, he's muggy. Oh, come on, get the hook in your mouth. No, Stephen. <laughs> oh, you to catch a little They're one. They're literally... Literally, they proper wiping out of the mouth. Where were these yesterday, Stephen Ringer? Like hybrid. <laughs> oh. Well, here's the big boy coming in. Where's the, where's, the the waft, where's the wafter gone? They pulled your wafter up. Yeah, waft in it, yeah. I can't see. I can't see the wafter at all now. I reckon they've eaten it and stole it. <laughs> Off the bayonet? Possibly. No, there it is. Is, is it, it? it kicked it from the other side of the pile, yeah. Yeah. But I think that's... <gasps> oh, there you go. Oh. You're in. But you got your bait. He's got you. Yeah, we yes. go. Oh. Look at all them. Look at all them. Yeah, now, now it's kicked him up. Now it's kicked him up. That were good. But again, beeline for the up yeah. bait. It's not... Obviously, I didn't see yesterday, but the method's not working quite like... It's not as... Your hook bait doesn't have to be that close. No. That's the one thing I'm learning massively. You could, you could leave it down there. Right? Yeah. Well, it seems try like it you could. Yeah, it. we could try it, yeah. Like a rock-hard method ball and hook bait just dangling. Because, yeah. again, that fish came in. That big, The big fish, obviously the little fish had some micros. The big fish came in and ate the hook bait. Yeah. It didn't eat any micros again. Literally going straight for the hook bait. Mm. No interest in anything else. And, but equally, the hook bait wasn't really in the loose feed then either. No. 
Do you think we need to be trying a different update colour? Yes. Next, I think next year. Yeah, chart, yeah. Because we're going to make him take pink off. Two days that yeah. pink's been so blaringly obvious, and I, I think that we can get caught up in enjoying the fishing too much. Yeah, he's getting them out a lot quicker than me. Yeah. He's not enjoying the fight. No. You, you I enjoy it when they plough for those rushes. I like it how you let them go in a little swim. Mm. I think I better go and help him. Yeah, go on, you can get your feet wet this time. You got a cup of tea? Please. Coffee, white one sugar. The old elastic's doing its job. Yeah. It just saves, you, it. saves you so many times that elastic, doesn't it? <laughs> You've been Godfrey school oh. netting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well done. See, that's, that's like... Bottom lip. They're different hook holds to mine though. I, yeah. mean, I think because of the weight of hook and Mine's presentation. Mine's a lot lighter. Yeah. I've noticed my hook bait moves a lot, doesn't yeah. it, when it's on the bottom? Them little ones haven't played football. Yeah, yeah. Maybe How's it's... the hook hold, boys? It's like just on, just on the edge of the bottom. Imagine perfect and then imagine perfect. Mm. Good. It's weird because Steve's hook bait was solid as a rock and the fish really had to take it, whereas mine's probably a little bit lighter and it, it, you get more chances with my hook bait. Do you reckon? But, but whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, because it's moving the hook a lot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You Smaller know, hook as if well. If you were fishing for big fish and it's moving that hook a lot on gravel, could do you, couldn't it? But I like it. I just say, I think both are, both presentations are working. Yeah, and yeah, the, definitely. At the end of the day, if it's hooked and it's in the net. The, yeah, the obvious thing for me is fish are just beelining for a pink hook bait and sucking it in. Have we got to chuck a different colour up, baby? Yeah. yeah. I know you want to catch another one. I think we've got to play around, boys. I do. What should we do? Go really opposite? I think go white. White or... We haven't tried a white. White. Yeah, yeah. Go See, white. I, I think white be good. Try it. Yeah, let's, let's do get one white. on next. Get, okay. get him an and get a white on this. Okay, mate. For me, I like to tie that bayonet on the end of my hair so it's stiff and I use a smaller hook, the size 12 rather than a big 10 because I like the whole rig to move. I want my hook to be as light as it possibly can be. So any movement from any fish or any fish in the area, like a natural bait would be moved by the fish's fins or its, or its power of its mouth. I want that hook bait to be totally in control. So any circle or any movement, that hook bait's on its way to the fish's mouth. Be, be interesting to see now as the pellets start to break down though. Is that it there? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Looks like it. Does, doesn't it? Well, how soon we can actually see the white? Because out of water, white's a really bright colour. Yeah. But in 12 foot, there it is. You can see it. To yeah, be you fair. can. Yeah, it's popping through. But white, yellow, like as in washed out yellow, etc., all look quite similar. That could be fluoro yellow for if we didn't, we didn't mm, know it was mm. white. Presentation's good again. It's great. Mm. It's great. I, I thought there'd be a lot more. Um, off fall from the feeder on a method. It'd be interesting to talk to him, obviously, later on. Oh, oh, it's just fell off a cliff. Oh, there it is. It's just how he's packing it and what he's thinking is behind how he's packing the feeder. Because mm, mm. I suspect he's putting it on rock hard and obviously he's got his micros just right so he knows he can put them on. I call it like putting them on like cement mm. but still breaking down. Yeah. Because he's losing not even 1% of his pellets on the way down. Yeah, hardly anything. No. We're off just sitting up. Look, it looks like from here. Well, that's been in what a minute, and it's all broke down yeah. and quite nice, which actually is perfect no, presentation. Can't fault presentation, and again, it's almost like I imagined a flatter spread of pellets. Yeah. But he's building like a pellet mountain. Yeah. Is that then, a little one just? Oh, there's, yeah, there's a little one just coming over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he gets that white wafter. <laughs> well, another one. The little ones are definitely more active today. Why do you reckon that is? I think it's light. I mean, we're, we've only seen them before in the evenings, mm. and I think today's lower light, and I think they feel safer. Do you think they normally sit in the reeds if it's yeah. bright, getting yeah. the cover? Because the water's crystal clear, and they're not very big, and I think when it's bright and sunny, they hide in the reeds and mm. come out in the evenings and mornings, but today, low light, big wind, they just feel a little bit safer. There's one guard in that waft to see him. Just ghosting across. Yeah, yeah. We need a bigger Oh, he's nudging it. Yeah. See him. I think, to be fair, when a bigger one comes in, it becomes a lot clearer. Mm. Oh, there he comes. Here he comes. Here, Here we he comes. go. Here we go. Oh. Back up. Oh, he looks big. Don't know if he's got the hook bit or not. He's coloured it up too much. Yeah. Just did. Right on his feeder. Rounds looking at his phone. Yeah. 
car watching me from. Oh, look at this. He's right on top of it. Surely he's got to pick that up. I've always believed that fish that are less confident get hooked more. And the reason for that is they bolt. So when they pick up the hook bait, they straight away panic, bolt off, drive the hook home into the bottom lip, hopefully, and they're hooked. Whereas a confident fish sucks the hook bait in, carries on feeding, and then there's no sort of bolt effect. And then I think when that fish doesn't move and it senses something's wrong, it's got a much higher chance of ejecting the hook bait without getting hooked. Look, he's sitting chewing on top of the feeder. No, he's saying hello. He's haven't, he hasn't picked him up. But that's like the white. And is that yeah, the fact yeah, if he had yeah. a pink on now, would he be playing that? Yeah, maybe he would. I don't know what he's done to him to feed it. Probably completely... Wiped him out. Yeah. That must have had that old bait in his mouth. I think the hook bait's still there, see it? If he was watching the monitor, he'd have been quite excited then. Oh, here's one. <laughs> It's been there for it's like been there. seconds. He's yeah. just eaten all your bait. He's back in, he's back in. Back on your feeder now. And that's a different one. He's been in and wiped you clean out. He's coming back now. I can't believe he hasn't picked Moon up. No, I can't. That's got to be the hook bait colour. Because the just looks good. See it? Yeah. The little one's been over. One coming back in from the back now. I honestly believe if he had pink on, he'd be playing one now. Really? Yeah. I can't see why... The reaction to pink's been so good, and that white one, it's just not... It's not seeing it. No. Or, you know, he's had two fish now visit the feeder, and the first two fish visited the feeder, and he hooked them both with, without him eating any pellets. Those two are filled up with pellets and... Left the hook bait. Yeah. Doesn't even really look like the hook bait move much maybe a little bit an inch or so mate his mouth was right yeah. on top of it do you think them little ones are what's colouring it up a bit yes but well, I just think general fish activity but there's a lot more little ones around now mm. there's one on help. have you picked him up yeah pick a one yes he's picked him up yeah I thought he, he had. snuck yes. in didn't yeah he? he snuck in but he did pick the white up eventually but there were no other pellets left, nothing left to there eat, were no. nothing left no. so he had oh, to pick it's it up come off yeah. has it so I think that was the third fish that's had a go at it. Yeah. It's like it can't see it properly. Can't see it, can it? No. I don't think that was a good hook hold. It hasn't broke me. I think it's just come off. Yeah, just come off. I think it went through weed as well. Yeah, look, you can always tell yeah, it's gone what, through weed. Yeah. That. I've spent a lot of years perfecting what I think is like the ultimate presentation, as in making as many fish, if not every fish count. And what I like is light hook bait, so that my waft is presented in a little bayonet in a loop so it can pivot and then a heavy hook, hence I prefer a size 10 QM1 hook. I think a big hook is harder for fish to deal with, so I get more hook hold, more hookups as a result. And also I think that's brought home by the fact most of my fish are hooked in what I call the perfect position, is in the middle of that bottom lip or the sides of the bottom lip. So it's about opinions, we all have them. I think my rig is the ultimate in wafter presentation and I catch more fish as a result. Well, that one's literally on and then off. It was like it weren't hooked properly. Mm. It looks like the feed has gone through weed, but... It was the third fit. It looked, one came in while you were on your phone. <laughs> and, and we thought that had the hook bait, but your tip never moved. It looked like it sucked your hook bait up. But, yeah. but yeah. you weren't obviously watching the monitor. No. And then another one came in that definitely didn't get the hook bait, but cleaned all the pellets. And then that third one, basically there was nothing else to eat other than the wafter. Yeah. But, obviously didn't get it right even with the clarity i could see the pink i couldn't see the pink uh, the white on that screen no we could Where just see it on the screen i reckon he's just at the pellets and picked it up yes that, i think maybe funny. outside of the mouth was pretty quick the tip's gone and i picked up straight on it so. the only thing i would say that we could learn from that is even though there was literally no pellets there you've still had a fish pick the yeah, bait yeah, up yeah, yeah. after a lost fish on the white wafter we opted for a pink pop-up sat just above the feeder held in place with a lovely little method feeder clip so the way i've been loading my feeder at the moment is i've been double layering and i've been putting the bait on really really hard so it stays on so i like to put a layer of bait on first and then roll my hook bait in and put another layer on top so i know it's all going to be hidden in the ball Doing it this way, it doesn't really matter because all you're looking for is the bait to break down and then the pop-up to sit above. But what I like to do is just half fill the feeder, drop the hook bait in a little bit and just squash it in. And then I'll put a lighter layer on top 
just so like a bit of bait will come out as it goes in so you get a few droplets following it down and I just think it's a nice attractor so I'll put it on hard enough so it can get out there and stay in one piece and then hopefully what will happen is the outer layer will break down and the pop-up will show up only one way to find out if it works Found it. Not yet. It's a bit of, I imagine it by clay pit. If I, reckon anywhere. I, reckon it's in, I reckon it's in the clay it's in pit. The clay pit. <laughs> Can't see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the clay pit. It's brilliant. There he is. Even better on that screen. Sounds really bad working for Guru and fishing for Guru, but I've never used a method feeder clip before. I think it's actually a product we launched like because. I know Paul Holland was a big fan of it, etc. And not we all used it a bit, and then you sort of forget. But mm. the concept is amazing. What it does do, it allows you to fish with like a four inch hook length, but you can have the benefit of like a two inch, and you can fish baits such as a pop up, which is what Runes has put on now, but you're not popping it up four inches away. He's literally got it popped up on the clip in the middle of that ball of pellets that's now breaking down. We should see it in a second. So you can, but as soon as the fish is hooked, it'll mm. be back to the four inch because it'll pull out the clip. So the concept's great. It'd be interesting to see if it works like we think. You know, I mean, the best bit of it is your hook bait can't go that far from the middle of the ball. It must keep it bang central yeah. all the time. As then pellets start to break down, so doing now very slowly, that should just emerge and it should stay literally like the cherry in the middle of the cake for the whole time. Yeah. I want to see it pop through. Yeah. There's a few pellets just starting to move on the top. Mm. Lovely presentation again on that method, mate. Trying the method clip was something I really wanted to do because I was never quite sure how it worked underwater. I get the theory is in keeps the hook bait close to obviously the feeder, close to the loose offerings, but also you're on quite a short hook length. So how would obviously the fish react to that? Would they bolt against it quicker? Would it be better? They were all questions that I'd sort of needed answers for in my head. Common would be better. Them. One, two, three. Four little commons. I tell you what, they might just lodge the wafter, like as in the pop up and get it. Oh, it's just on the. There yeah, it comes, there it comes, there it comes. There's the pop up. It's just setting it free, isn't it? Yeah. Still can't see it on this one quite yet. But see what I mean about how the method pellets stay like stacked? Mm. They're staying very high and then almost like a hill, a hill of micros. It's a little pile, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think because Adam's obviously loading the feeder quite hard, they are staying like very close to the feeder. So that still hasn't really popped through. It's not popped out I, I, yet. I, it think like it's it? I think it's because though the pellets have stayed in a hill. So it could be partially buoyant. They're probably two inch piled up. Yeah. So if it's popped it up two inch, we aren't going to see. But once a few fish start investigating, you should see it. See that wafter now, can't you? Yes, he's, up, he's, up. Up, he's up now. Looks, look funny, it looks amazing. Yeah, it looks amazing. It looks actually better because it's staying right in the middle of the loose feed. Yeah. It would just be whether there's enough line or what, or if the fish hits the ball hard enough. Oh. There's something big in the area, I think. See them two little ones mm. dart through then. After a great run of activity in the morning, fish traffic became very sparse later on, meaning we had some decisions to make. Boys and Matt, just got that feeling. I feel like we're flogging a dead horse, do they say? Yeah. Yeah. All right. get, I'll, get I'll, I'll reel in and, Yeah, we'll give it a rest. Nice I'll put one. Put your cattle on, love. Yeah, good idea. Despite a rest, visibility in the swim became near impossible to work with, with unusual amounts of small fish coming in and churning up the water. However, great opportunity to rest the crew a hard-earned pine, early bath and return mission in the morning. Morning. Morning boys, oh, look at this, it's, got a, lot, a... it's a lot, lot clearer, look at that. We've got a nicer sight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. Clay oh. back. I've seen one come in while I'm waiting for you two. Thank goodness for Mirror. that. 
was a bit of a disaster this afternoon, weren't it? I don't know whether we had an algae bloom or it was just the roughness of the conditions and so or what? A lot of small fish as well. Yeah, there was to mm. be fair, yeah. What should we do? Straight back on it? Start where we finished off? I think so. Try that pop-up mm. again? I'm quite... That I really want clip. that to work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to see clip. your hook one on the method clip, yeah. see what happens. Yeah, yeah. It, looked, it looked well, didn't it, last time, but we're going to see it even better today. Weather's so. better for casting, so... Yeah, so one in five, not Ten. one in 20 casts. Mm. Should be in the swim. <laughs> I'm joking. I was really good yesterday, especially in those conditions. I think it went cloudy or murkier yesterday because turbulence, uh, wind and stuff like that. I think wind, because we noticed the whole lake was more coloured, not, yeah. not just our spot. But also there was a lot of little carp in the swim, mm. a, and I mean a lot of little carp. They're not there this morning, so let's hope they they stay away. Mm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? You know, like when you're sat fishing, or all kinds of venues, but I've had it on canals and rivers where you think a little bit of colour comes in and it changes what happens. Yeah. Like, Gin clear, sun's out this morning and there's not a little carp to be seen. No, it'd be really interesting to see if the little carp do come back mm. because the first couple of days they weren't. The water's really clear, the carp didn't come in. It's very bright mm. and I've got a feeling they won't like this bright weather. We've got much better weather today. Mm. Bright sunshine, not quite as windy. Casting should be easier. Visibility, I still think it's a little bit down on what we've had, but it's still good. I think that's algae. I think it's algae and those little fish have churned it up a little bit. They're looking for bait. We've already seen, just seen a couple of big ones go by as well. So it's looking a lot better. Right, I'm ready to roll, are you? We're ready, we're looking for it. Good, give us a few chances. <laughs> oh, here's the wind. Nice one. Excuses are coming out yeah, already. I didn't even cast once yet. Oh, that could be in the... Could be in the... Down, 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 down. Yeah, that's it there. See it? It's further oh. away than you think we would have thought, isn't it? Is it okay there? Uh, we've got it, we can see yeah, it. The, yeah, the yeah, pop-ups pop out. out. Yeah. Better if you sat here, Matt. Mm. It's quite coloured, isn't it? I can do. Look all right, yeah? See him? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Got it on your one, too. Can't you? find it. We think it's because it's further yeah. that way, if you know what I mean. It's on the black stuff. Mm. Oh, oh. Little, little one, little ones are in. <laughs> little ones are in already. <laughs> oh, something's just, something just at it and let it little go. One. That little one at it and let it go. He literally done it, had it in his mouth. Look, they're, they're attacking it. They're straight in, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they obviously went far away. So my theory about sunlight and them not coming out has gone out the window. Because if they found the spot yeah. it, after a day or two, mm. they found it. Look. Yeah, they're eating, aren't mm. they? Little devils, we don't want them in all day. It'd be nice if we only caught one, though. Yeah, it would be quite funny, because <laughs> he'd hate it. Mm. They literally got they'd on it. Bumping it about yeah. like mm. a punch bag. It's almost like they don't feel safe enough to feed for any amount of time on that one spot. Mm. Hence, they don't stay more than, what, five or six seconds a lot of the time? Yeah, exactly. All, all fish on camera have been mm. like yeah. big ones, little mm. ones. But you'd have imagined that little, the little ones, which are, what, two to six ounce, most of them, mm. they'd be, like, so hungry. They'd just be like, we're going to eat every single micro there and then we'll leave but they've literally burst off the screen and gone. So maybe there is something bigger that they know is behind. Mm. Mm. Big wasp. Scissors, Big wasp in the tent, can you deal with it? What, what, now, don't start, start hitting the wasp, guys. Don't You know what will be interesting, right? This is two casts on a yeah, I'm, pop up. I know what you're going to say. And there's no mm. carp come in mm. on either, right? Well, next chuck I'll chuck along. Well, what I was thinking is it'd be interesting when you pull this away. Sorry, drop me Leave pen. it. When you pull this away, how long it takes one to come in? Yeah. Because last time, oh, yeah, they come straight in. 20 straight minutes in. that had been in, and mm. then as soon as you pulled it away, within five minutes there were two there. And it just makes you wonder if they're just wary of something up dangling. Yeah. You know, like. These particular fish in this particular lake might not yeah, it's like not, it's, something yeah, it's popped up. Probably not natural for them, is it? Which, but it's still mind-blowing. It's two inch. It's popped up two inch. 
Do you know what I mean? How can that make any sort of difference? You wouldn't think it would, would you? With that presentation, I'd just take it if I was a fish because it's would, such a mean. good cast. Looks awesome. <laughs> and you think they'd have to come closer to it to spook off it? You yeah. Think, yeah, we're yeah. Not even, we've not actually seen a fish come the of, close to it. At the end of the day, the bait we're feeding, they were straight on it yesterday, so I can't understand why that would make a difference or whether the fish are just not there or because the clarity's harder. Maybe it might need some more flavour, some more scent. Maybe a goo might bring them into the swim a bit better. Today, you know, like when you tried goo, it was very clear, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, still, yeah. Maybe like a, a reddish goo, a bit more colour. They obviously like pink, so maybe try a, maybe think, try a good hook bait or I, put some goo on the pop-up. I think if this just doesn't go, as we're on a new day, I'd be tempted to go back to what you caught your first two fish on. Get get the ball rolling. Yeah, just to see whether it's the swim's a little bit okay. off or... Yeah. Well, next cast, we'll go back to normal, on mm. a pink, on a normal feeder, see if anything comes in. For me... If and then you, perhaps yeah. put a pop-up back out when there's a few fish yes. about. For me, if you took a normal one back out and fish come to it... It's really conclusive. They don't like a yeah. pop-up on the venue. <laughs> yeah. It's true, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Or they're wary of it. They're wary yeah. of a pop-up. The thing is, it doesn't get... It's not overly fished, is it? No. So it probably looks very strange to them, if, if that's how their you mind just, is. I seen. always imagine, though, they'd have to come closer to it to, yeah, know, yeah. It, to know it's there. Right, you have a... <laughs> Here we go right, you have a little... You have a little... With your arctic clock. Jar. You have a little clock. Right, and it's on the mantelpiece every day. If you walked in one morning and it was sat two inches off the mantelpiece, it'd fry your brain, wouldn't it? You yeah, you know, yeah, the normality. Two inch, mm. some, two inch out of place. Could it be because you just had another cat? Oh, there's one. Here we go. Oh, oh. He's oh. got it. I think he's got it. He's, he's sucked it in. He's, he's still in. eating. He's I, reckon, I reckon he's got it. I think he's got it. Think he's had it? No. No, he's let it go. He he's it. had it and let it go. <laughs> he literally sat with it in his mouth. He's still there. He's still there. Go on, mate. He's still... He's he might there. get another go. He's going to have another go. Look at him looking at it. Look at him. He's looking at that. Yeah, Good fish, that, it. isn't it? That's old long common. Think he's going to spin round and come back? Yeah. Definitely more wary, yeah. No, not really. He, he was confident on the feeder. He definitely had it, that. He sat with it in his mouth. Yeah. Is he still he there? Comes, he's coming back, he's coming back. Oh, yeah. He's gonna have another... Go on, lad. He's got it, he's got it. No, he's blown it out in, again. In and out. In and out yeah. again. When Rooney got done twice straight away on the start of day four, I have to admit, like a little bit of satisfaction because I don't believe that any rig could possibly hook every single fish. So seeing that obviously Rooney's rig that works differently to mine was also having a few little teething problems, so to speak, just sort of made me feel a little bit better. I really enjoyed working for Guru. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. But he wanted yeah. it's the same same like repeat behaviour as like, you know, if he goes for it once, mm. even though he maybe thinks it's not right, he comes back and has another go at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really want that. He's still there at the back, see him then. swimming around. He's really coloured it up now, though. You can still pick out that pink, yeah. though, even in that coloured water, can't you? A little pink. Wouldn't surprise me if he has a third go at it. He knows it's there now. What hook are you on, Rune? A 10? I've got one. 10, very tight hair. But in my head now, I'm just thinking, because I've been mugged off, it's like that two-inch hook length thing again. They need more time to suck yeah. it further back. Because it's only two-inch popped up. Interesting, that were about 18 minutes. It'd be interesting to take note of bite time a bit more. Yeah, make some notes today. I've been in 18 minutes before one came in. I'd probably be quite happy to leave it in, like, 25, though. Yeah. You know, first chuck on a fishing for carps. Is he gone now? There's a few little ones on the spot now. But they're not feeding on the... F oh, big one just coming in, just coming in. Oh, he didn't go for it, did he? No. Like he saw like it. Like he though. saw it and sp it spooked him a little bit. Another one. Oh, another one coming in. No. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, didn't like that, didn't did like he? it, no. Didn't like it. Another one. Mm. Like they're not going on, not going down on it now. They're just cruising above it. I think he's coming back. Here he comes. 
to him. Wary, aren't they? That? Yeah, he might have another go at that though. Okay. You were very close to it then, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They know it's there. Yeah, now, they know it's there, they? but it's just like they can't quite work out what to do with it. Me give you a clue, Carp. Eat it. Just shows that once they know there's something there, they definitely remember. Yeah, and, and they come keep. Back. Here it comes again. Right on cue. Let's look at yeah. that. They're yeah. like turning away from it, Rune. Yeah. Like four of them now have come up within a few inches of it and then turned away. <sighs> really weird. It's hard to see how many pellets are there now, isn't it? Yeah, they've sort of spread yeah, out here. Yeah, that's what it looks it? like. It's interesting though, the carp aren't picking anything up. Nothing at all. It's like they're scared to go down because that's what yeah, they're about. The, the behaviour I've seen of the carp so far is like, they want the hook bait first, mm. which is never what I expected to see. I imagine they'd be eating all the, oh, here we come. They'd meet, eat all the pellets and maybe take the hook bait last. Yeah. You can almost imagine though, on another day in another situation, they'd have it. Like they'd be really confident taking it. But in clear water, really stupid. You know, after that fish has had a couple of goes at it, all the others have, whether it's the same fish or not, we can't mm. tell. But all the others have just backed away without actually really committing. That first one proper committed. Mm. You were like, I'll have this yeah, and, one and he had it in his mouth, obviously. Whether it's because it's just a little bit too short to get the hook. Here he comes, yeah, here he yeah, comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's eating now. He's eating proper. He's, he's got the hook got bait, he's got, got the hook bait. Got he's got it, he's got, got it, he's got, 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 got it. Got it. Got him? Yeah. Tiniest bite. Whoa! He had an element of confidence about him every well, time he came in. I think the difference was when he came in, well, the first and the last time he fed differently, is he went properly down yeah. onto the pellets as well. 23 minutes room that had been in. Yeah. He's found that snag out there, look. You know the one we found on the boat? Yeah. My feeder is literally probably three metres oh, away from the, the, the hook. Yeah. Literally pushed it right at the line. I'll have to go in, I think. While, while it's clear today, Rune, I almost feel like we could do it getting back in quick, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? While clarity's good. Yeah, mate. So I reckon get him out, show him, show the people the fish, and then get your feeder back in because it's looking good out there. Okay, mate. It's a nice fish. Lovely fish. Weird not being sat in your box playing one with a landing at handle. <laughs> It really want to sit back down. It's a lot more comfy. Ah, that's better. Back to real life. Oh, look at that. Where do you think the hook is? Bottom lip. Place your bets. Middle at bottom lip. Place your bets. Nice when you get your wafter back. You can reuse it if you're a tight northerner like me. Well, it's on a proper hair, so it won't come off. <laughs> I sometimes take them off, put them back in the tub to dry out, and then put them on again later. I was going to say, you put them in the airing cupboard, but you don't have your eating on, do you, up there? <laughs> Clips work well as well. The lines come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All worked lovely. <laughs> we didn't really pick up on this when we were in the tent at the time, but... Looking back, every time it got a bit murky or the light levels dropped and it's a bit dim, more fish come in and they're definitely more confident. And if you think about your own fishing, light changes are massive. Suddenly some cloud comes over on a bright day, you get a run of fish and that's exactly what was happening down there as well. Even fish coming in, colouring it up, the next few that came, because it's more coloured, were more aggressive and confident. Looked really good that one. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it mate! Mm. Look, it's. Takes me back to my days when I used to work for NASA, you know, controlling all screens and that. What happened to that job? Here we go, waft is out. I think he's a little bit short to find him on this one. It's almost like he's got a trail leading him in from his old feeder. Can you see it behind it? Yeah, he has, which I'd say if you're catching loads of fish, he's brilliant. You know, if I was fishing for one, that would annoy the hell out of me. Would it? Because I'd be thinking, one fish in a tight area, only going to get one chance. What if he eats that pile and not that pile? 
What that, could you do to combat that though, really, do you think? Obviously, it's, we're in a slightly different scenario, and he's got a very small window to get the feeder in, in front of the camera, which that's like an amazing cast, but makes me think every cast has to count. Mm. So if you're only fishing for one fish, you can't afford three chucks to get it right. The only other thing I know you do a lot is you creep further and further out. Yeah. And I'd always want my feeder to so, be the one furthest yes. out, and almost assuming your line and disturbance should yeah. They'd always be in the furthest one. But I'm, I'd be thinking, like, you know, like Boddington, say, where you, mm. you're only fishing for three fish in five hours in the winter. I can't have many casts to get it right. Mm. A miscast is almost a disaster because it's another pile of bait. Another option for them. Yeah, exactly. And that could be one less fish I'm going to catch. And you're only going to catch two or three. Losing one of your three is massive. Mm. How's that one looking? Perfect, to be fair. Mm. Wafter, a little bit of feeder, nice. Every time I've noticed with the method, you, you're not quite getting the spread I'd expect. I thought it would really flatten out, but you're getting a nice big heap. Yeah. Like a big mountain of pellets. It's actually quite a tight presentation when you look at it. Mm. It's a bit bigger, bit bigger spread than a hybrid, and it sits a little bit flatter, I think. The feeder definitely sits flatter, yeah. yeah. There's obviously more bait yeah. as well. Yes. There. Like yeah. more amount. Yeah, yeah. You know when they hybrid. come in as well and uh, uh, they like suck out the hybrid, there's literally nothing there then. When they've come in and seen this, it's just spread that bait about a bit more, hasn't it? Mm. So. I'd actually say they haven't really gone for the pellet so much on this. They've yeah. just hit the hook bait instantly yeah, yeah. from what I've seen. Maybe they're feeding a bit different, but yeah, it's interesting. It's like the first thing they go for is always the hook bait. There's one. Get ready, Rune, I reckon. The one there? He just came in, his head came in from that yeah, side. I saw something. Yeah. I was just about to switch record off. <laughs> I don't know where he's gone now, but a head just came in that side. Bait. Is that their last cast behind? Or one of the casts? Yeah, and there's another one just over there. Yeah. Good accuracy, though. How far away is that from each other? Probably a few inches? Yeah, six inch. Yeah. Max. It's Looks hard. a lot further on the screen, yeah. but it's not. It's hard to cast it there. You know, like when the wind blows in a different direction or you get surface skim and that, you've got to be so accurate. Even when putting your rod down, it's got to be in, literally, you cannot, I'm like lining my rod up now on a cast with a reed that's mm. sticking up out of the water. That's mm. how you've got to put your rod down, hit your clip hard, put your rod in the right place, and hopefully, you know, as it's falling through. Be interesting to see how they fall through different as well, you know, like a hybrid, because it's a little bit denser, more compact. If it falls through, through better than a method that's mm. with the weight forward, but obviously you're using quite a light. 28 gram weight, yeah. yeah. What weight's that feeder? 36, that yeah. is. 36 with a long stem. And that's only a small method, isn't it? Yeah, it's just yeah. a small one. How hard are you tightening up to that room? I'm not. Really I'm slack. literally, I'm waiting till we find it. I'm holding my rod out. And then basically when, you, when you're saying it's in the swim or I can see it's in the swim, I'm unclipping and literally just coming back with the bail arm open oh, yeah. and then just tightening the line. So it's just, there's a few weeds down there, so I'm just straightening it up, but I'm not tightening it at all. Not after what we saw yesterday mm. and I've done it myself as well. Just that, that slight movement on the tip, you move it, don't you? Yeah. Not that I think it would stop you from getting a bite because when you're fishing a wafter, it's still in the right place, isn't it? It's gonna correct itself, but I'd rather be around the ball rather than off the ball. If you know what I mean? Yeah, for me, that's good presentation. You can see there. Yeah. Fish. Here we go. I'm going. You're seeing your mic. Oh, he's coming. He's coming, he's coming. Yeah. He's coming. First one, he's actually feeding away from... He's, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Far, Gotta go. Far less wary. Mm. Really, really, co really confident. He's going straight oh, to the pop-up. He's, he's got, got it. it. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. He's hooked. <gasps> no, he's mugged him. Where's the pop Where's the bait? He's, he's done him. He's done your rune. Has he? Yeah, had it. Waved it about and spat it. I've just had a tiny little drop back, that's it. Yeah, he had it in his mouth and like... Oh, is that the wafter still there? Yeah, he's yeah. Moved, moved it quite a bit to the left. Yeah, yeah. He had it in his mouth for like... Yeah, I see him pick it up. Well, I was watching my tip then. I think he winked as he spat it out. <laughs> He'll be back. Amazing see, how see it's still how, fishing though. See how he's turned the feed around? Yeah, he has. He's literally turned the feed around. Yeah. It would have been interesting then if we'd have told, you know, if we'd have gone strike, strike, if I, you'd have... I could see it. Mm. Yeah, but you want to see what happens. Because you wouldn't know in real yeah. fishing time. Would you have picked up at any point there? No. 
No. It literally tips than this. Oh, that's a little one. Wow. Just headbutted it. When the little fish came into the swim, they played with the hook bait, almost like a football, knocking it about, but they couldn't get it in their mouths. And they're almost kicking stuff all over the place. And I do think, personally, with the light hook bait, light hook combo that obviously Rune tends to use, it's not as effective if the hook bait's getting moved about because obviously your hook point could end up stuck on a bit of rock, etc. Whereas with mine, heavy hook, light hook bait, it just kept resetting itself, or, or that's how I sort of viewed it on camera. My hook bait, if it did get ejected, just reset and waited for the next fish. It did get a bit heated, not in a bad way at all, because Ringer and Rune both do things a little bit different. Rooney wanted to use a smaller hook, fixed bait. Ringer liked his moving a bit more, and you could tell they were, well, you've been done well, you've been done well. I think mine's better, and like I said, good way, but definitely a bit heated at times. It's almost like, you know, if they're really confident, they're harder mm. because they don't move. Yeah, they, they're hovering on the yeah, leader. Yeah, that's what that one did. And it's like the bait was gone for so long. Yeah, it's almost like the sucking and yeah, blowing yeah. loosens the hook and they yeah. manage to get See, it out. He ate a really big amount of those pellets. Mm. Look how many's left now. You'd still be happy with Yeah, no, you'd be close, happy. Close your hook bait but I reckon the pile. he ate two thirds of the pile, mm. which is the first time we've actually seen one really eat loads and loads of pellets. The wafter has reset itself though, if you, you know what I mean, you wouldn't say it's in a bad spot again now. You'd be happy with that yeah. presentation, wouldn't you? It's weird that that fish actually lifted the feeder as well. Mm. Oh mate, he was on. Mm. Obviously Adam wouldn't be any wiser if, if he hadn't seen it, and you'd still be thinking, well, when I was looking at that, I'd be thinking, I'm still fishing. Yeah. One thing this underwater filming really did clarify for me was the importance of resting a swim. Like in match fishing, you know, you have several lines and it's really very obvious and important. We had the camera set up on one swim because basically that's all we could do. To make a good film, we needed those cameras on the spot. But it was quite clear we kept exhausting that swim by casting in, overfishing it, catching fish. The poor swim just needed a rest. But that was a really nice thing to see and, and basically justified why in match fishing, or even pleasure fishing, you need multiple lines to fish. See the movement of water now as well, mm. but the pellets aren't moving. I don't think that bottom two, no, it doesn't seem few to. centimetres moves. It doesn't seem to at all. Them pellets haven't like rolled or moved or anything. Look at that. Picking up. Not even really picking up. They pick the one. ones up round the edge. Yeah, don't, they? don't like the pile, round. do they? They always go for the pink. That one won't fit again. And again. again. Yeah. Oh, big and come in, big and come in, big and come in. Here we go. He's going to get picked get again. Get ready, get ready. Wafter, wafter. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, he's a. He's oh. something spooked him off it. He, like, he went for it. Mm. You see that rune? Yeah, I just saw it. He went for it and then like something scared him. It's like that little one got in his way. It's almost be like back. A little, it moved and he was like, oh. Mm. Little one's attacking it now. I reckon he'll come back though, that fish. Now he knows it's there. Mm. And there Here he, he comes, is. yeah, he's on right on cue. Oh, he's backed away again, isn't he? Mm. It's like something's spooking him a little bit now. You know when he ejected the hook bait? before when he actually had it hit. He didn't really panic. I don't think he got hooked. No, I don't think no but he didn't. Pricked him. Something was obviously wrong for him to spit it back out, but he didn't panic and bolt where you think he'll never come back. Mm. You almost think, well, he'll have another crack. Yeah, you're right. Totally agree. That, that surprised me that they don't seem to, we haven't really seen fish like, we've seen fish back away. Has he got that? No, he dropped it, the little one. We haven't seen fish panic when they get away with it. No. I'm missing around. There he is, there's the mouth. Oh, oh go on, go on, he's going for it. He's going for it, he's going for it. He's got it, he's got it. He's a big one. <gasps> he's gone for the bait. Mm. I think he's gone for the bait. Yeah, I think he has. He's gone for the bait. Sam, can we have a brew, please? Some people do like to use a softer action rod within line. Give me a slide, brother. He's coming back. He's back, he's back. He's, he's, done him. It out he's, again. Done him. he's done you again. Here we go. Yeah. 
Lovely fish. Ah, oh, well done, boys. Beautiful fish, that one, isn't it? Look at that. Amazing scale pattern. Yes. Bit of air in the bag. Give them a shake. Well, that one stir things up a bit. Literally, that was what partially hooked. I think he's going to come back in a sec. Let's see him here. Oh, oh. critical. 